Hey everybody, Pastor Steve here. Thanks so much for joining us today. You know, one question that is at front and center of many people's minds and questions I've uh, heard circulated is, where do we go from here? People look around at the state of the world, some of the challenges that we face, uh, not only in our nation, but in, in the world today. And the question comes up, where do we go from here? O almost as if there's no hope. And I want to encourage you in something today, Re regardless of the way that the world goes or the future direction of the world or our country, I want to encourage you that there is hope and there's great hope for you. And in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26, we read these words, and I want you to hear this uh, as from the, the loving heart of a father, because really the truth is that's what it is, the loving heart of our father in heaven. It says, my son, give me your heart. Give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. What does it mean to give our heart to the Lord? You know, in, in, in the Hebrew culture, the, the, the word used here, at least for heart, doesn't really so much mean the seat of our emotions like we think in the American culture, but the seat of the intellect. In other words, our mind, our thinking, our life, our way of life. He says, give me your heart. And I want to encourage you today that as we look at the state of things and we say, where do we go from here? That there is a place to go, and that is to the feet of Jesus Christ, to our loving Father in heaven, to the foot of the cross, where there is much hope, where there is a peace that passes all understanding. We may not understand what goes on around us. We may understand some things, in fact, and be very troubled. But whether we understand or we don't understand, there's a peace that passes that is beyond, that is greater than all understanding. And that's available to us, to you, in a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the, the psalmist in Psalm 61 really expresses a great sentiment. The psalmist says this, When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I want to suggest to you that's a good place to go. When your heart is overwhelmed, when your mind starts to run down the what ifs, when your mind starts to ask the question, where do we go from here? Turn to the rock, the rock of Christ, the, the one of whom it is said that when our feet are, are established on him, in other words, our life is established on the rock, that we have a firm foundation. And when the troubles come, the scripture says, when the wind blows and the rain falls down on that house or that life that is established on Christ, that it stands firm. And so I want to encourage you today, friends, trust afresh in the Lord. Turn afresh to the Lord. When our heart is overwhelmed, when we don't know where to go, go to the one who holds the future, your future, in his capable and loving hands to the rock that is higher than I, that is higher than you, higher than me. Be refreshed. God loves you. There's difficult things, and there always have been difficult things, but God loves you, and in him, our hope remains steadfast and immovable. Trust in him. Enjoy him today. Pray, pray, pray against the attacks of the devil. Pray, pray, pray for those who are being uh, hurt and troubled so much. But press in close to the Lord. He loves you and he is for you. May God bless your day today. Thanks again for joining us.